What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now you're probably thinking one of two things. Number one, Eric, what in the world was that cover photo you selected for this video? And number two, why did you have a tennis ball in your hand? Well, listen up because guess what? Today, we are certainly not using these tennis balls to go play tennis. What we are going to do is we are gonna use a tennis ball to release our pelvic floor. You know, that pelvic floor. But why? Well, for a lot of you guys watching, you're either experiencing erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, painful ejaculation, problems with fully emptying your bladder, or just general pelvic pain. Now, it makes sense because for a lot of us, we spend way too much of our day either sitting down, stressed out of our minds, and not doing enough exercise. Now, if you are doing enough exercise and you're hitting the gym regularly, well, unfortunately, it adds to the problem as well. So the solution, well, we're gonna use the tennis ball today to loosen things up, get things moving a little bit better down there so that you can resolve these problems. When we're sitting all day and when we're stressed, either personal stress, financial stress, um, whatever stress you are incurring, stress from the situation of having erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, painful ejaculation, whatever men's health condition you're going through, that is a reason to be stressed. So what happens is because these pelvic floor muscles, they sit deep within our pelvis, they act as a hammock that support all of our internal organs, they help you with your erections, they help you empty your bladder and control your bladder, and they also help you with ejaculation. Now, when these muscles get really tight and too firm, well, that kind of creates the problem that we're touching on in today's video. And yeah, don't worry, we're getting to it. We're gonna use this tennis ball as the solution. Now, if you've seen one of my other YouTube videos, I'll put a picture of it right here. You've seen me in my classic pose, feet in the air, <laughs> bum to the camera, showing you what your pelvic floor muscles look like. And I take you through, I think, three or four stretches to stretch them out. So now you're probably wondering, okay, well, if you've made a video on the stretches, why in the world would I need a tennis ball, Eric? Why are you making this video? Well, we need a tennis ball for the same reason why you go get a massage. You know, if you've had a really hard week of workouts and your legs are feeling stiff and feeling really tight or your low back, there is only so much that you can do to stretch out those muscles. Yes, stretching is your first line of defense when you're waking up sore and stiff. But sometimes you need someone else to get in there that knows what they're doing. Now, I'm not gonna suggest that you go to the massage parlor and ask to get your pelvic floor or your perineum stretched out. Well, unless you're going to a dodgy massage parlor, that's uh, not what you wanna be asking for. So don't worry, I've saved you the embarrassment uh, and we're gonna do this in the comfort of your own home. And if you made it this far in the video, well, guess what? You're already part of our crew and there's a good chance you've seen some of my other YouTube videos as well. Well, today's the day Now's the time to make that official. I want you to click the button directly below, click subscribe and join our community. We've got over 50,000 men that uh, are tuning in to watch me and see where I put this tennis ball. So anyway, join all of them. You don't wanna miss any of my other uploads. I touch on all the topics that men and all of us experience in life, including all of the embarrassing ones and yeah, how to use a tennis ball to... So anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's get into it. All right, listen up, quick anatomy lesson, because I wanna make sure you're not putting this ball anywhere you don't need to put it. It's not that type of channel. So forgive me, but I actually cannot show you a diagram of exactly where I want you to put this or what the pelvic floor even looks like. And trust me, I see your comments. Eric, do a demonstration. Eric, do this. Eric, do that. I can't see. I don't know what you're actually pointing at. Well, don't blame me. I can't do that because if I do, my video gets taken down. So you're just gonna have to listen, you're gonna have to trust me, and if you're still confused, pop a comment down below, I'll help you out. What you wanna do is you wanna find your sit bones. Your sit bones, you have one on either side. If you put your hand down and you feel underneath you, you should feel a bony piece that's sticking out in your hand. That's your sit bone. The medical term is your ischial tuberosity and it's where your hamstrings attach. You want to move maybe two to three centimeters for my American folks, that's about an inch, inch and a half, I think. Don't quote me. You wanna move in towards your anus. Now be careful, you don't wanna to go too far. Okay, so I've set up my bench here. If you don't have a bench, that's okay. You're gonna use a chair. Have a tennis ball. And if you don't have a tennis ball, stop making excuses. Go get a lacrosse ball or a baseball. It's all the same thing. And while you're at it, 
make sure you close the door. You don't really want anyone walking in on, on you while you're doing this. All right, so you're gonna take your tennis ball. I want you sitting down on a flat surface. Again, chair, you can even sit on the floor. With your hand, you're gonna feel for that ischial tuberosity. So I feel it right here. If you've got a big butt, you might have to look a little bit, a little bit harder for it, poke around. So I've got it right here. You're gonna take the tennis ball. I'm going to slip it under. Again, you wanna go two centimeters inside of that bone. And then you're gonna slowly even out that weight, feet flat on the ground. You should be squishing that tennis ball into the chair. And this is where the magic happens. Cause you know what? It feels pretty good. And you should just feel that tennis ball kind of melting in. Don't worry if you don't have the exact placement. It's all your pelvic floor under there. You really can't go wrong. Um, well, you could, and that's if you put it directly over your anus. But anyway, I've already warned you about that. So you wanna make sure your shoulders are nice and square, put all the weight. You should feel a real gentle pull and you're gonna hold this position. Hands on the seat for support, you're holding. And what I want you to do, we're gonna hold for about 30 seconds. And remember, you've also got one on the other side. So again, find that ischial tuberosity on the right side now, found it. Place the ball just on the inside, again, in between your sit bone and your anus. Sit down onto it. <sighs> Deep breath, don't fight it, just accept it. And just keep in mind, it's me doing this for all of YouTube to watch, not you. You get to be in the privacy of your own home. All right, now if you tried it, you gotta admit, it feels amazing. Why? Well, because you've probably never stretched out this area or released it, let alone with a tennis ball. You wanna hold each pose for around 30 seconds. You just wanna allow this tennis ball to kinda of sink into that pelvic floor region. It's got a little bit of skin to work through and we want to hold this for 30 seconds to maximize the release. Now, if 30 seconds doesn't feel like long enough, by all means, hold it for 45, 60 seconds. Just start slow and see how you go. Now, when you're holding this exercise, the last thing that you wanna be doing is bracing yourself and, and you know holding yourself really rigid. You wanna just relax. You wanna take a couple deep breaths. Now let's get into a few other variations that you can try, okay? So you are going to take the tennis ball. You're gonna put it underneath the sit bone, find that spot. Sitting nice and level on your chair, you're gonna bring that foot up. Oh my word, my leg does not go that high. Oh. So sitting up nice and square, you wanna use that arm and you wanna force that knee down to the ground. Okay, so what we're doing, we're getting best of both worlds. Number one, we're stretching out the pelvic floor. Number two, we're also stretching out the glutes. All right, now we're gonna try the other side. So make sure you find that ball. <laughs> Switch sides. How are you? Thank you very much. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Guys, literally saved by the bell. I just got my brand new shoes in. But anyway, so you wanna find that ball. We're gonna put it on the other side. So find that pelvic floor. Perfect. Bring that leg up. Oh, this side's a little bit easier for me. Sit up nice and square. Push that knee down. Sink into that ball. And again, we're holding this for 30 seconds. Anyone can do this at home. Again, if you don't have a tennis ball, I want you using lacrosse ball. I want you using a baseball. How often should you do it? I want you doing it every single day. I promise you're gonna see some results. Now, if you want the most bang for your buck, I want you to incorporate the pelvic floor release with the tennis ball with my stretching routine. Now, if you haven't seen that video, don't worry, I'm gonna link it for you right here. Remember, regardless of your situation, keep going and I'll see you in the next video.